Hello, uh, welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Abidjo Bar, and uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you effective, effective ways how you can improve communication in your relationship, how to communicate effectively in a relationship, and that is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So if you're into that, sit tight, because what I'm going to be sharing with you is going to change how you communicate with your partner and how. Uh, you can work things out with your partner you know, when it comes to communication and stick with me till the end because at the end of this video I'm going to be sharing with you why it's important for you to communicate effectively with your partner in a relationship so if you're into that sit tight because this video is all about that so without wasting time let me share with you why uh, on how you can improve improve communication in your relationship so the first thing you should know that if you want to improve communication in your relationship is you have to listen more you have to listen more to your partner. So listen more. I know you may be asking me, uh, Abdul, how can be listening more can change things? How can listening more to your partner improve communication? So hey, this is what you need to know. So the moment you listen to your partner more, the moment you listen to your, what your partner has to tell you, the moment you you, uh, you listen more to your partner than you speaking, this is when you'll be able to uh, to make things work with your partner. This this the, this is when you'll be starting to communicate effectively in a relationship. You know that uh, we all want to be heard. We all want to be heard. We all want people to listen to us. We all want people who, uh, who can listen to what we have to, to say, to express our feelings, to do this and, the, and that. And we all, we even forget to listen to what our partner have to say, uh, what our partners have to tell us. So that's the first thing. You have to listen more. So don't interrupt your partner when your partner is talking about something. If there is an issue that your partner is addressing, don't interrupt your partner. Let your partner finish talking about what he or she wants to talk about and then express your view. Tell your partner what you think about what he or she has said about the things that you're talking about. If it's it's a conflict, if there is something that your partner did wrong, don't try to cut off, don't try to cut short your partner. Listen to your partner, what he has to what he or she has to say. And then add on your opinion. Don't interrupt your partner when, when your partner is speaking about something with something that you either like or you don't like. Because we have sometimes we have the tendency of maybe cutting off your partner short because you feel what he or she is talking about is not something that you like. Especially if you're angry. You cut off your partner because you feel what he or she is talking about is not something that you like and you're angry, you want to stop your partner from speaking and this will, will mess things up. This will mess things up, especially if you guys are in a conflict. This will mess things up. So you have to listen more. So the moment you listen more to your partner uh, expressing what he or she feels about something that happens in that relationship, then this is the moment that you'll be able to think, you'll be able to analyze on about what you should say to your partner, about how you should speak to your partner for, for the conversation between the two of you to go in the right way. Because if you don't listen to your partner, the first thing that your partner will think is that you don't you don't respect you don't respect him or her. And the other thing is that uh, your partner will think that you, you are belittling him, him or her and you, you don't like what he or she has to share. You don't like the opinion that your partner has to share and this is something that is going to miss your relationship. So if you want to, uh, to communicate effectively, be the person, be that person who listens more and let your partner talk, let your partner express his or, his or her feelings before you think of cutting short your partner. And this is what is going to improve communication. In, this is what is going to improve your communication in a way that you'll be so happy, in a way that you'll be so proud. And, uh, and you'll thank me later. So the next thing you can do on how you can improve communication in your relationship is to understand your partner's needs. <laughs> this is something, this may be obvious, you know. You may say, ah, Abdul Jabbar, understanding, understanding your partner's needs is something easy. Yeah, I can do that. I can just understand everything and that can improve communication. I know you may ask me, how can understanding your partner, partner's needs improve the communication between the two of you? So listen to this. Listen very carefully. So the moment you understand what your partner needs, you'll always know the right way to, to approach your partner, to respond to what your partner wants, to respond to the things that your partner asks you. Because you know, uh, you know his or her needs, you'll be able to, to put that conversation in a way that will fit in what he or she wants. For instance, if your partner wants to hang out, uh, maybe your partner wants to hang out in a, uh, in a certain place 
and you know that your partner likes this place so much. The moment, the moment your partner talks about hanging out with you, you'll always remember what you know. My partner wants to hang out with, uh, with me at a several place, at a certain place, because this is this uh, this place makes her makes her or him feels that so much uh, calm makes her makes him or her feels that she is in control of what is going on around. And uh, you know what? You'll you'll be able to respond in a way that you know you know that you won't uh, you won't make him or her angry because you know that is what exactly you, that is what you but he or she needs and this is what will improve communication between the two of you and at the same time when you, uh, your partner wants to hang out with you and you know that you are not comfortable with hanging out at that place that your partner prefers then at the same time you'll be able to approach this conversation are you able to to respond to reply to your partner in a way that you know that it won't it won't hurt your partner partner's feelings it won't make your partner feel bad about what he or she plans to do with you and uh, at the place that she she wants to hang out also it, uh, the next thing it can be about the decisions also if you know why your partner need, need a certain thing you'll be able to address that issue in a way that you know that it won't affect your partner's feelings in, in a way that you know that it won't uh, you won't hurt your partner in a way that you know that it won't make your partner feel bad it won't make him or her feel that you are you are cutting off the most important things that he or she cares about and this is what will improve communication in that relationship even when you want to say no to what he or she wants you'll be able to present it in a way that you know it won't affect uh, how your partner will respond uh, to you and this is what you, you should you should be doing so you have to understand what what your partner needs the moment you understand your partner's needs, then this is when you'll be able to do everything in a way that you'll be so happy, in a way that will improve on how you communicate with each other in that relationship. And this is what you should do. So the next thing you should do on how you can improve communication in that relationship is to be open to each other. So you have to be open to each other if you want to improve communication in that relationship. Yeah, this is something hard. This is something hard. And I... Uh, and uh, you know, sometimes I'm guilty of this. I really don't open that much to my partner. And this, if you don't open much to your partner, this can bring can bring conflict in your relationship. This can make your relationship suck in a way that you even uh, never imagined. So you have to open up to your partner because opening up to your partner is what will let your partner know what you think, what you think about a certain decision or a certain thing that you guys wanted to do. Uh, this is what will make your partner know how to handle you because he or she will have an idea of what is going on in your mind and that is very important that is very significant so you have to open it up to each other you have to be honest about what you feel about how se several things are taking you about how your relationship is taking uh, about how your relationship is progressing even if you have a disaster outside of your relationship you have to be op you have to open up to your partner because if for instance if you have an issue with your family and this issue maybe is affecting you, it's affecting you in a way that hanging out with the partner doesn't feel normal at all. It doesn't feel the way it used to feel. It doesn't feel that exciting. And you, you, you keep on hiding these things from your partner. Then this will eventually end up making your relationship uh, a mess. Because if your partner is trying to do something to make you happy, at the same time, you are stressed about what is happening, uh, uh, is happening to your family. What the, the situation that your family is in, in then you'll always be mad at your partner you'll always get into conflicts because of say, because of how your partner handles you because there's no effective communication your partner doesn't know what is affecting you right now but if your partner knew that your family issues are, are affecting you and that is why you are not the way you are in that relationship then your partner will be able to tweak some things here and there to make uh, the situation that you guys you you are in to fit uh, to the conversation to fit to how he or she will communicate to you and this is what will improve your communication in that relationship so you have to be you have to op you have to be open if there is anything bothering you you have to be open to your partner about that thing if there is a problem that you're facing right now and it's affecting how you feel how you handle your partner you have to be open you have to talk to your partner about it if there is a problem with how your partner handles you you have to be honest to each other you have to tell your partner the truth you know that you, you you the moment you express what you or what is bothering you then your partner will know how to handle you and that is all about relationship that is how we, we that is what will make the communication between the two of you to be effective to be in a way that you'll be so happy about 
So you have to open up to each other. Don't listen to other people um, are telling you that you know opening up to each other is not is not good and it's going to mess up things up. Closing closing up to your partner is what is going to mess things up into that relationship, and the communication between the two of you will never be effective because you know what you guys aren't you you are not aware about what about what is going on in each other's life, and this this is what is going to mess things up. So if you want to improve communication in your relationship, then this is one tip that you should never forget. You have you always have to open up to each other, no matter the issue, no matter what is happening in your life, and this is what is going to. To make things amazing. So the fourth thing you can do, if you want to improve communication, if you want to communicate effectively in a in a relationship with your partner, is is you have to know that communication will never be perfect. Trust me. No matter how many skills you have, no matter no matter what you do in your life, no matter the, how many people you interact with, even if you are a psychologist, you are a therapist, you have to understand that you you always have a weakness, and that's okay, and that's okay, because if you try to make everything perfect, you have that's not going to work because at one point or another you always find yourself uh, doing things that your partner won't be happy about you will always find yourself communicating in a way that your partner doesn't appreciate you have to understand that communication will never be perfect it will never be perfect and you have to understand that you have to you have to understand that some of the weaknesses in communication that you that you uh, that you present some of the communication that your partner sees from you this this these weaknesses are what makes you who you are uh, this uh, these weaknesses are what makes your relationship to be the way it is right now because if everything is perfect in that relationship then trust me things will be boring because sometimes in a relationship we need some challenges we need some several things that can make us you know what stand on the ground and uh, always do things to improve our relationship and that is that's how things work that's how things work so you have to know that your relationship the, uh, the relationship communication will always never be perfect. There will al always be some glitches somewhere. And that's okay, that's okay. Because trust me, there are no couples in this world. There are no couples in this world that have, uh, that have this, have it all, have it all figured out, Tr trust me. If you try to figure out everything here, then I know, you know what, you're messing things up and it's never going to be the way you want it to be. So you have to understand that communication will never be perfect. I earlier promised you that I'll be talking about uh, several things uh, on importance on several the advantages and the importance of improving communication in a relationship so let me share with you some things here so when you improve communication in a relationship this will, will improve on how will minimize will minimize I uh, will minimize the conflicts and will improve your relationship this is the first thing this is the, the main reason it will minimize the conflict because you guys are always on the same page because you always know what you want from each other you know what your partner needs from you you know you know what your partner prefers to do and uh, this is what is going to make your relationship so amazing so this is the, the first advantage and the other reason on uh, and the importance on uh, how to in on when you improve communication in, in your relationship is that you'll be able to understand uh, what your partner feels because you'll be opening up to each other when your partner open, opens up to you then you'll, you'll be able to understand how your partner feels but and the way you communicate to your partner and the way he or she responds back to you this is what will, will enable you to understand so much about your partner and you'll be always on the same page and this is something this is something amazing you'll know how your partner feels by by communication because if there's no communication you won't be, be able to know anything that goes on in your partner's mind and this is uh what i had to share with you guys so guys if you like the video Hit the like button so that the video can spread to other more people who can also benefit from the tips that i've just shared with you and if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe so that you keep on seeing similar content on how you can make your relationship even better and even develop yourself if you're into that and uh, also see some lifestyle uh tips and uh things that i'll be sharing in, the, in this in this channel so thank you so much for watching and I'm so happy, I'm so glad that you made it at the end of the, to the end of this video. And don't forget to watch, to watch the other video that you see at the end screen because they also related to, the also related to what I'm just talking about in this channel. So, see you and um, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.